video is going to be a Christmas shop with me. We're going to Michael's and TJ Maxx. We're on the hunt for lots of new Christmas decor. I've got my iced coffee. I've been making a list all morning of some Christmas decor that I want to try to find, including some new Christmas sheets this year because our Christmas flannel sheets from last year ripped. So we've got to get some new sheets and lots of other things for our Christmas decor this year. If you've been around for a while, you know I love red Christmas decor and I still love it, but I'm going to try to incorporate more like warm tones, whites, lots of textures and make it really, really cozy this year. So super excited. We're going to Michael's and TJ Maxx. Grab your coffee and let's go. Starting out at TJ Maxx, this is always my favorite place to go for all the seasonal decor. They have so many unique things for such great prices. How stinking cute are those gingerbread sheets? These were both Ray Dunn brand sheets and they were so pretty without any words. I know a lot of her stuff has words on it. And Oliver was running around all over the place. Will was with me too, chasing him around. They had so many cute Christmas sheets, which is what I was here for. So I was so excited about that. And have y'all noticed that all of the blankets now are starting to be that Barefoot Dreams like texture? I love it so much. And Opie is needing a new dog bed. So I was thinking, how about get him a Christmas one? That one was so pretty. And they had so many cute Christmas hand towels and bath towels. Those green ones were so cute. And I need a new rug for our guest bathroom. I like to deck that bathroom out for Christmas. And last year I washed the rug in there and it got ruined. So I've got to get a new one for that. I was thinking that red snowflake one is so pretty, but the gray one is really cute too. They even had Christmas comforters. I've never gone that far. I usually just stick with sheets, but those comforters were so pretty. And I love TJ Maxx runners. So these are beautiful for the kitchen or a hallway and they make such a pretty Christmas statement. Love that front doormat. They had so many pretty Christmas pillows to choose from. I have way too many pillows, but I'll probably end up buying some more anyways. I have an obsession with pillows. I need a pillow storage cabinet because I know you can buy the little inserts or whatever, but I always just get carried away and get whatever pillow I like. How cute is that blanket? I am loving that checkered board pattern trend right now. Oliver was helping me pick out all of the Santas and snowmen. I have always loved snowmen, so I've got a special place in my heart for snowmen and also Santas this year because Oliver is obsessed with Santa. Loved that little white rigid tree. I might go back and get that. And I'm loving this year how I keep seeing copper Christmas items. That's usually like a fall thing, but now they're carrying it into Christmas and I feel like it's so warm and cozy. This little tree that looks like a pine cone, fell in love with it. That next to the copper deer, I was like, ooh, I could really like run with that, but I don't know if I should completely change everything. That mold cider candle smelled so good, and that gingerbread pillow is everything. Here's a checkerboard pattern mug, and y'all know I had to get that because I'm obsessed with that checkerboard pattern. TJ Maxx had all of the Christmas cups, nutcrackers, Christmas trees, gingerbread houses, Santa cups, snowflakes, but now we are headed over to Michael's. They had so many cute garlands. This is stinking adorable. If I had a little girl, I would definitely put that on her little headboard. And I don't know about y'all, but my grandma had that little ice skating rink where all the little people move around and it looks like they're ice skating. And I was very tempted to buy it, but I think I'm going to try to find one that's a little bit closer to the one that she had. Michael's had so many cute Christmas items this year. I haven't seen anybody shop here yet this year. Maybe I've just missed it with my friends Christmas shop with me's, but they have all of their stuff organized into like colors. And I love the white and tan aisle. It looks so cozy. They had so many really pretty fluffy trees. The red and white aisle had a lot of really good stuff too. A lot of snowmen. And I love this fall la la sign. It was actually glittery. I would love to put that in my kitchen. I end up getting too many words every year. So I'm, I was trying to be careful about that this year. But this red and white aisle was everything. This little Santa with Mrs. Claus kissing him. This was a really cute plate that you could put cookies for Santa on. And I just fell in love with this aisle as a whole. I was definitely probably on this aisle for way too long, but I was trying to see between all of like the red stuff if I could find some really good like white Christmas decor to mix in with all of my red. And Michael's is the place to be if you need a garland every year for fall and for Christmas. This is where I come for garlands. They're such a great price. I always hit up the candle section at Michael's too because they are super cheap and they smell so good and they last forever. If you're needing some bottle brush trees, Michael's was completely stocked. And here are some of those metallics that I'm trying to mix in with my already red and white decor. 
Okay, we're back home from shopping and I wanted to stop real quick and share Halara with y'all. So thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video. Halara has reinvented athleisure. All of the clothes on their website are made out of strong performance fabric and they're all so cute. So if you wear leggings like me, like 99% of the time, listen up. I have a great discount code for y'all today. Okay, first up we have their so cinched high-waisted leggings, pockets on either side. And I would dare to say that these are my favorite leggings ever. They have the most high quality fabric so comfortable so cozy they have a really nice high-waisted stomach on them they hold you in really well the back is very flattering even though I don't really have much of anything that they're going on and I just love the way that these fit they're gonna be perfect for the gym also no creasing in the front if you know what I mean like if you're a girl and you want to wear a tank top and leggings to the gym these are perfect so they're the so cinched high-waisted leggings these are probably my number one recommendation if you buy anything from Halara today so good okay as you probably already know this is one of my favorites this is their everyday cloud full tennis skirt it's got the crossover front here where it goes like that and what I love about this tennis skirt I own several tennis skirts but none of them do this where they separate and there's a pocket right here so if you're gonna go running and you need to bring your house key or your car key you literally can just slide it down in your pocket I can fit my whole phone in this pocket and you can go running <laughs> and everything is safe in that pocket love that there's one on this side too so if you need to put your phone on this side your keys on this side that is so handy plus it is just so cute I got the red so that I can wear it with all of my Christmas sweatshirts, but I also picked out gray so I can wear it like every day if I'm gonna go to the grocery store or something. So highly recommend this one, so cute. Okay, next up we have the pet hair resistant high-waisted crossover leggings. These have a really nice pocket on both sides too. And that's always so handy when you're going running. They have the little crossover front, which is so flattering. And the back is very flattering too. You have a really nice waistband that holds your stomach in if you're like me and you need that. And they're just so comfortable. Halara leggings in general are by, by far my favorite. And you can even ask my sisters, we're all like legging connoisseurs over here because we are wearing leggings like 99% of the time, like I said. So these are very comfortable, very high quality fabric. Cannot recommend them enough. But these are also pet hair resistant. So if you have animals that shed like crazy, these are perfect for you. I got the color dark cinnamon and these are so pretty. Okay, now coming at you with the color peacoat. These are so cute. This is the everyday cloud full crossover, high-waisted legging, so cute, so comfortable. The best fabric, y'all, so comfortable. Two pockets, one on each side, and this is that peacoat color, so pretty. Y'all, can you tell? This fabric is literally incredible. I would not steer you wrong on leggings, I promise you. If you need a really good discount today, I've got a code for you. It's 15Lauren for 15% 15 off all of their full price items. So click that link in my description box below and go get you some new leggings today. Okay, now for the fun part, we've got a haul from TJ Maxx and Michaels. We found some really good stuff. I'm still gonna be on the lookout for a few more like really specific items. I usually decorate with a lot of red and this year I wanna incorporate lots of whites and creams and metallics, maybe some champagne mixed in with still a few pops of red here and there. But I love the look of white and cream together. I feel like it's so cozy with lots of texture going on and lots of warm lighting and I just think that's gonna be so cozy this year. We found lots of good stuff though today. I'm gonna to start with my TJ Maxx stuff. As soon as we walked in, I saw this little guy and I could not pass him up. He is so stinking cute. Sherpa gingerbread pillow. He's a nice size too, and he was only $16.99. He is from the Cupcakes and Cashmere line, and I feel like this is a really great Pottery Barn dupe. I know a lot of people are really into that, and I'm not sure if they carry the gingerbread or not, but I know for Halloween they had all of the different Sherpa pillows and for $16.99 you cannot beat that. Not sure what I'm going to do with him yet. He may go in Oliver's room, but we'll have to see what we do with him. So cute. Okay, next up I picked up Will and I some new sheets and these are so stinking cute. They're actually from the Ray Dunn brand and they have gingerbread houses, gingerbread men, candy canes, and I actually turned to Will. He was with me shopping and I was like, are these too kiddish for our room? And he was like, no, I love those. So I'm excited to see if these work in our room. I usually use more of like a toned down red plaid sheet, but I think these will be really fun, at least maybe to even swap out when our other ones are dirty. So we're gonna try those sheets this year. I picked up this adorable Santa Claus. And if you know me, I normally don't buy like little trinkets like this when I go shopping. I buy more decor that can like last all year, but kind of screams Christmas. But this year I have Oliver and I thought this little Santa Claus, I mean last year we had Oliver too, but he's getting to the age where he really enjoys stuff like this. And this Santa was too cute to pass up. He's got little jammies, little green and velvet slippers. 
and he's carrying a hot chocolate and a teddy bear. He looks so cozy. So I love him. Oliver absolutely loves him. So we're going to put him probably somewhere very prominent so Oliver can see him all the time. And I just love that. I also picked up this really cute green and white checkered coffee mug. I thought that was so fun for Christmas time and also just all year round. But how cute is that? And hopefully I'm going to make it over to my sister's house to decorate her at least kitchen for Christmas this year. And she decorates with a lot of this like sage green color. So I'm excited to get over there and decorate. Okay, I think we're on to Michael's stuff now. I saw this when I walked down the white aisle right away. And it says, hot cocoa served here, North Pole, warm up, open all winter. Old fashioned at the top. I thought that was so pretty. And that's going to make such a beautiful statement either on our hutch or maybe over in our little coffee bar area. I might try to hang it on our backsplash or something, but I think that is so pretty. I don't like to incorporate a whole lot of words everywhere, but that was just way too pretty to pass up. And it's gonna really help tone down all of our red in the kitchen this year, so I love that. Okay, I also picked up some new ribbon for our tree, and I don't know that I'm totally sold on it yet. I got some red velvet. That cream one's got a really pretty design on it. And then these two are more rough and textured, red and white. And I think weaving all of those in together would be so pretty. I'm still kind of looking for something that's a little bit more like pizzazzy. We need a little something. Normally I just do all red glitter ribbon and it's really pretty, but this year I'm looking to kind of make it more rich looking, more textured, more cozy. And so I don't know if this is really the answer. I'm gonna have to play around with it um, and we'll work on that. But I was excited to look at all of the ribbon. Michael's had so much ribbon to choose from. And then I also picked up a thing of red wrapping paper. This is like that rustic, like cardboard texture wrapping paper. And it's a really pretty red. And I was thinking I can get some brown, like burlap and some, what do you call it, twine to wrap the gifts with. And that'll be really pretty underneath our tree. I also picked up some of these on the way out. I'm about to eat one right now because my throat hurts. Okay, I also picked up some more Christmas balls. These are more of a champagne color, but I got to looking at them and I think they might actually be like light pink. So I may return these and get something that's a little bit more champagne colored to mix in with all of our white and red. I want to add more metallics to our tree this year along with lots of white cozy textures. I've said that so many times, I'm sorry, but I want our tree to be really cozy and I thought the textures and the different like si or sizes, the different like styles on these balls was really cool. I may end up trying Hobby Lobby for some champagne ornaments. So I'll keep you updated on that, but I think we made a haul today. We found some really fun stuff. I'm excited to get all of our decor out of the garage. And what I normally do is I borrow a big table from our church and I put it on that empty wall in our living room. The wall that I'm supposed to be doing like a project on and I haven't started yet. I like to put that table on that wall and just pull all of our Christmas decor in from the garage, lay it out on the table, underneath the table so that I have a really big space to work with. So we'll be doing that in the next couple videos and then it's time to decorate very soon. So super excited. Thank y'all so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're ready for all of the Christmas content because it is coming and I will see y'all very soon.